only and three hours of debate over legalizing and regulating short-term rentals in New Orleans. Good evening. I'm Adriana Hopkins. Thanks for joining us. Some homeowners have a problem with their neighbors renting out property for short stays, like a weekend on Airbnb, for instance. Others say it's a good way to make some money. Tonight, a city commission heard from both sides ahead of a study on regulating short-term rentals. WDSU's Casey Ferrand is at City Hall with some solutions they're considering. Some people say that short-term rentals are changing the character of their neighborhoods, while others say with the proper regulations, this could be an industry that brings major cash flow to the city. Let's change the name of the city. Let's just call it Club New Orleans. With the growing popularity of short-term rentals, some say they don't recognize their neighborhoods, much less their neighbors. Now on my square block, there are more short-term rentals than there are neighbors. Neighbors vote. Neighbors take care of each other. Neighbors work together. Neighbors have potlucks. How are we going to do that with short term? I think we have to keep in mind that neighborhoods are really constantly changing these days. It's not like when our parents were growing up and you had neighbors that lived on a block for 40 and 50 years. People are moving for jobs. We're a mobile society now. The City Planning Commission is conducting a study on regulating the industry and amending the definition of short term rentals, which currently includes hotels, motels, timeshares, or bed and breakfast. Other things being considered are limitations on the size, districts where they should be prohibited, and national best practices. I think that actually the enforcement of the present regulations would go a long way. Mm -hmm. The ones that are on the book now, yeah. you're in your own house and one per block and registered with the city who will occasionally drop by and make sure it's not unsafe. This owner of a Britannia Street bed and breakfast wants to ensure newcomers are taxed the same as her. All of us should be concerned about the money being lost, not only by businesses like ours, but more so by the city and the state. Every room should be taxed. Those in favor of private home rentals say this industry is a plus for the city. We feel that it's a, there's an untapped revenue source here for the city that's really low-hanging fruit. By legalizing and regulating private home rentals, there's money there that can be used to benefit all the residents of our city. Eric Bay says short-term renters are also like ambassadors for the city. They're coming to New Orleans to enjoy a New Orleans experience via whether it be food, dining, music, entertainment, but from a local's experience. They want to live like a local and enjoy the city. I help them do that. Right now, there are 125 short term rentals that are legally operating in the city, but thousands more are popping up online that are not licensed or regulated. On your side at City Hall, I'm Casey Ferran, WDSU News. And public comments on this issue can still be submitted to the City Planning Commission until November 30th. The completed study will be submitted to the City Council in December.